Hello friends, welcome back to the new video of the JavaScript. So today we are going to learn about the promises. Okay, so let's see how we are going to implement the promises in the JavaScript. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do hit like, share and comment on it. So promises. Sometimes your API is taking too much time and you want the response suppose the api hit and if you want the response after the process is completed in that case if you if you want to like the api is getting time or stuck in somewhere else and so in that case you need to use promises like whenever the data is fully loaded and fetched then you will able to retrieve the data and do the manipulation part right so for that reason we are using the promises like when the successful completion of the api hit is done then you are going to retrieve the data and do your manipulation, right? So let's see how we are going to implement it because most this is very, very most important in the JavaScript. Why? Because sometimes the uh, response, uh, like the API hit takes too much time and uh, you have just manipulated your code, like you're just writing the code of the function and write, and you're trying to wait for the response, uh, just writing that uh, in the variable and you're trying to get the data. But uh, if you are doing that one, may might be take so much so much time, and you are not retrieving the data, and it says undefined. In that case, you need to write promises. So once the data is completely fetched, loaded, then you will do the rest of the process. Okay. So this is the one version that I am using for the promises, and the later on we will uh, use that um, other versions of that one promises. But the basic concept is that the promises is we are going to discuss on it. Okay. So let's see. So uh, let's go to our code level script JavaScript. So I'm going to you comment this one and using to this one fetch API. So here we have a JSON fetch API part, right? So here we go with this one. I'm going to wrap it in a function. Function call API, right? I'm going to add this in a function. Okay, so let's add this in a function control x control v okay, and we are going to return this data for whatever data it's returning return okay. so this is a function called api <coughs> here i'm going to call the simple api okay so here we go with calling the api if uh, like uh, let's see const uh, get api right and here we have the call API function call API and here we go with this one okay now we are going to use the promise <coughs> so here is a method for calling the promises so first we use the const promise so here we go with this one okay so here we are going to add the const promise over here and here we will pass the API Resolve this part. Promise dot resolve get API until or unless it will load it fully. Okay. Promise. Then we are going to handle the response. So for this one, promise dot then whether you want to result alert and error you want to show this is the, that part, right? So here we go. We are going to pass this one. And then value. So whatever the value that we are printing, we are going to use a promise dot then value. Then this. Then that one then see this one so let's see what the value we are receiving over here okay and soul.log value so here we are going to add the value and value okay let's see how it's gonna be running so reload this api is hit okay console value is undefined right you can see that value is still undefined let's look how we are going to do that one so here we have the function called api and this is called resolve dot get api promise dot log then console dot log and here we have the result so here we need to add the result part also so we need to add this result so 
so here we go we are going to add this and return the result also on result i think something there is missing let me open in a visual editor a visual editor let's open this in a open using that application that is visual editor let me open with this part to vs code file open folder html let's open it from here gs tutorial open with the application visual code okay so this is script right there is error you can see that there is error over here where it is here so there is an error over here so you can use directly over to it okay now the error is solved sorry okay so let's see now we are returning the result and returning to full fledged one part because i think return because a return we haven't done part right so that's the reason it shows the undefined part now we are going to hit this see the value is also the data okay so until or unless the, this uh, we are not re returning the result so we are not going to fetch that data into that part right so this is the way that we can use the promises and uh, uh to fetch the uh, until the until or unless the response is not getting in the api part so that reason we are going to use that promise to call the api and get the data and we uh, until the process is completed we are going to get the data and we will manipulate the data accordingly right so this is how it is very simple method that i have used to uh, to use uh, if you are getting the so much more time on the api call or something you are not getting the data so this is the best way make sure whenever you call the api it should return the value if it is not returning the value in in my case what you can do you can, you can see that i haven't returned the value over here and uh, if i'm not if i'm returning here not returning this part so it will not going to get the data can check that if i commenting this one return and save this and reload this part see it's undefined first it will go and check the undefined but the uh, value is undefined right uh, in that case here you can see that because i am not returning the data so the re it should keep remembering that return data should be there else it will not work right so uh, be careful on that part so any doubt any query in that just let me know in the comment section Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.